yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You are welcome to TG Roland. TG Roland Services. Yeah. We are the best. Yeah. Good day, my viewers. I greet you all wherever you are watching. This is TG Roland Services Company. We are your way today for us to learn one or two things that can help you in refrigeration. All right, a quick one. When you watch here, what you have is how to connect capacitor number two said how to know how many uf can sorry how to know how many uf capacitor you can use in ac compressor three how to know how sorry how three how to know how to connect ac compressor when you come to this place um this so this place is called capacitor hold on this is a capacitor when you watch here we have what we call fan line capacitor normally has three terminal capacitor this is fan line and when you look to this place this is what we call ham after we are going to discuss about it when you watch here we have what we call c We'll discuss about it and you know what this C means. And when you watch, don't fail to understand that this place is what we call capacitor terminals. I will show you on the practical aspect of it. And these are the terminals and this is a capacitor. When you watch here too, we have what they say, how to start compressor. Okay. I hope you can see it directly to the board. I want to complete it. Okay, you say to start capacitor, to start, sorry, to start what? Compressor. Listen very attentively for you to be able to do that. When you watch here, right here, we have what you call C, and watch what we call, we have what you call R, and we have what you call X. By these things, by these things today, after the end of this, section of lesson you see yourself to be an engineer who can be able to do this all right where we start let me get the things that we are going to use for this section i'm coming all right here we are come close this is a capacitor. Now we are now on the practical aspect of it. This is a capacitor. And uh, go back to the board. We are going to treat this one first. This is how to how to connect capacitor. Fine. We we'll start with that one. Okay. As let's say okay, this is how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in. AC compressor. Now let's start with number two. In that phase, we are going to know how many UF capacitor you are going to use in connecting a one horsepower air conditioner. This is one one horsepower. AC. In one horsepower AC, the capacitor you are going to use in one horsepower AC is what we call 30 UF capacitor. 30 UF. All right, and which is what we have here today. This is a brand new capacitor, and I want you to watch closely. Watch closely. This, what, what does we have here? This is 30 UF. Yes. What we have here is 30 plus 5 UF capacitor. I hope you can see it. So, in this 30 UF capacitor, you can use it only 
on one horsepower air conditioner. When you use this, a one horsepower air conditioner, air conditioner is going to work. But if you use this 30 UF to 1.5 horsepower, it's not going to work. Mind you that what you have here today is that how to know how many UF capacitor you are you can use in AC compressor. So this one today, the UF you need to use in in one horsepower should be known to you today. That is 30 UF. 30 UF for one horsepower. One HP. Horsepower is When you watch very well on this number two, how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. Now the answer is 30 UF. 30 UF for one horsepower is. I hope I have made it clear for the viewers for you to understand. Try to know for one horsepower AC, you are going to use. 30 UF capacitor. All right, we'll come to the next section and come in. All right, the next section we are going to do, we are going to treat now is, let's, let's check what we have on the board. We have already to take this one, how to connect capacitor. Now that should be the second agenda we are going to treat. How to connect what? Capacitor. Okay. Now, the last time I told you guys that we are going to explain all these things when the time for it has come. Now, how to connect capacitor, it goes this way. Look very carefully. This is a cap. This is a capacitor. When you watch right now, we have one, two, three. You understand? This is the normal capacitor that you can use in any country wherever you find yourself. This is the normal cap a capacitor. This is the place we call fan line, and this is the ham, and this is the place the neutral lines will enter. When you watch this very well, there is something they wrote here. As you can see, this is C. This is C. Yes, this is C. And this place is what they call fan. And this other place is what they call ham. So listen very carefully on this program for you to be able to achieve one or two things. Now, what the way we connect this thing now let's say that this man here this man here is a compressor this man is a compressor so when you come to how to connect capacitor you have to it has to go with this man and this man but now I want you to understand something. Just hold on. I'm coming. All right. Before connecting this man to this man, there must be a cable. Let's say that we have a cable here. Let me use the language you will understand. Very well. Let's call it wire cable. We need to have a what wire that will help us to connect this man to this man. Let's see how it goes. Let's say we have a cable like this. And inside this cable, there will be a different, sorry. There 
there will be a different wire inside. We we'll have red wire. I will have blue wire. I will have what? In, in, in some occasion, you will see what? This other one to be a black wire. When you look this red, blue, and black, in the normal language that people know out there, it's called what? Life. This is the life wire. This is a life wire. The other language that you and I know too well, that people always say, they, they will say this is neutral. This is neutral line. And this one might serve as an earth wire. It depends on the on the face of the air conditioner which the person is connecting. This is edge wire. Now, in this connection that we have today, we are trying to do what? To connect capacitor to a compressor. I want you to understand the place we are and what we are doing. All right, this is where we are right now. This is a capacitor, this is the fan line, and this is a ham, and this is neutral line. Let's make it to be understood very well. All right. In this place, the roads, they say, what we have here is CRS, in the field of refrigeration or head vac. What we we'll call it is common running starting. I will repeat it again. Common running starting. This common running starting means it is, it is a means of you starting a compressor. Without this common running starting, you cannot start this man called compressor. This man called what? AC compressor. This is AC compressor. Now, this is how we are going to go. This is the life wire. This is like this is your wire cable. You will now do what? Connect this life wire directly to the what? To the common. I hope you are getting what I'm doing. I hope you are understanding how it, this, this section is going. When you watch, this is the wire. You connect the life wire to the common. This common means the life wire. It means the life wire. Now, after that, this other one which we call common running starting, this is what we call running. The running, the wire that has to come for the running is what? The neutral, which is the blue line. You take it this one this way. Take the neutral straight to the running. When you watch very well, you will now see that we have gotten what? Common running. Now your question should be, this starting, where is it going to go? Now, this starting is going directly to what? To the capacitor. This starting, we have connected the common, we have connected the running. This starting is going what? Directly to what? The capacitor. So what you should do now is what? To concentrate and know the clip on the capacitor where this starting is going to now let me say that we have a we after this i'll give you the 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 practical aspect of it 
Now, what happened is this. In this place, which we call what? Mitra. Another thing you have to understand is to know how this capacitor got light. To know how this capacitor got light. Now, this is what will happen. In this capacitor, this place they write common. They write uh, C, which is neutral. You will also do what? Look for a way, connect this neutral to this place. By giving this place neutral means you have given this place neutral. This place now is not the what? You are giving the what? Neutral to this place. The neutral line have got you to this, uh, to this clip, to this terminal and capacitor. Now, you now ask yourself, say, okay, how am I going to do now to connect everything? For this compressor to start very well, you have to do what? Look for another clip, another wire. Look for another wire that you connect to this half. This half is the starting. The half in the capacitor will be connected to what is starting in the compressor. Now you do what? You will take it out from there. This is starting. You connect it this way, connect it this way to this place. What you have done right now means you are giving power to this world. You have connected this starting to hand. In compressor starting, hand starting works with what hand. Now when you watch this diagram which we have drawn for you with all this explanation, you will know that the connections are very simple when you listen very well. Now, the way it is, we have connected what? Common running starting. With this common running starting, when you connect this wire to a, a current, which is a socket, let's say this, this is a, a socket, you connect it to this plate, this compressor will start. With this, this compressor will do what? Will start. And when you watch this closely, if you don't still understand, we can as well to say we can rerun it anymore. We can still connect it again for you to understand what we have said. Now, the place we are, we have treated what? How to connect. Sorry, we have treated number one. We have treated how to connect capacitor. And now, we have done what? We have treated how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. With the answer is 30 UF for one horsepower AC. Now, the other one that is remaining here is called how to know how to connect AC compressor, which we have done down here. And I can equally explain it more for you to understand. I'm coming, let me get something. All right, this is where we are. This is the same capacitor that we saw last time. That is 30 watts, 30 plus 5 watts, UF. 30 UF. Now, this is the capacitor once more. When you watch, it has 4 watts clips. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is this one, the road hand. And the only thing you have to connect here is only one wire. Which is what? Starter. Which is here. When you watch very well now, the starter is on its own. Now, come close so that you can, your viewers can see what you are doing. When you watch closely here, we have the one they wrote what? C. Which has also has 1, 2, 3, 4 clips. Now, when you watch closely, the neutral here, the neutral have to come to this one. Which one? The one we write what? C. And when you watch closely, right now, the neutral wire will be connected to this. As the neutral are connected, you also do what? You drive, in other words, this neutral that came will not go this place. You drive it to here. 
When you watch now, two wire is being connected to this place. Two wire is being connected to what? The neutral line and the running line of the compressor is being connected here. When you watch all these terminal, one, two, three, the only one that is carrying two wire is what? The running. On the capacitor body, they wrote it what? C, which is what? Com, which stands for what? Neutral. The life, this is the wire, the neutral wire will be here, and the running wire will also be here. With this connection, you have started what? An AC compressor. You cannot start AC compressor without a capacitor. You cannot start AC what? Compressor without what? A capacitor. And based on what we have learned today, we have no, we have a kind of to acknowledge how many UF capacitor that can start a one horsepower compressor. Which is this? This is one horsepower. This line represents what well, this is a compressor and this is one horsepower compressor. So try to understand whatever we have learned today. You have come to understand that in a capacitor clip, we have what? Three capacitor clip. They call it three clip. Some of the capacitor are there can be two clip, but a normal capacitor is what? Three clip. This one, we do not connect it because we don't have the fan motor here. But I want to draw the fan motor for you to understand how to connect in this fan motor in this place. So let's see how it goes. All right. This is a fan motor. I'm coming. I want to make it easy for everybody that is watching. Uh, respective of where we are where you are watching from, you are going to learn something new today. Alright. This is a fan motor. Can you see what is on the board? Yes, the how to connect a fan motor. Okay, this is let's say this is the motor that has this is the motor. All right, in the fan motor, you see a wire like this. In this wire, you have you see a three is a is a three wire. It normally comes. It, it normally comes in four wires and I want you to understand something it normally comes in four wire one of the wire let me draw the diagram first Alright, this is how we go.
All right, when you watch down there, we have a farm model. I want you to understand its practical aspect of it. This is a practical aspect of the farm motor. Um, when you watch closely here, we have a three wire here. And when you watch, this is the common and this is the running. And this, this will be the starting. Okay, let me say, I will change the wire. But I want you to understand, this is the fan motor. This fan motor is the fan. Let me explain the work of this fan motor. This fan motor is what helps the outdoor of AC for it to be removing heat on the units. And this cannot work without AC compressor. And AC compressor cannot work without fan motor. And fan motor cannot work without capacitor. Now, I want to make the, con the connection to be complete for everybody that is going to watch to understand what we have teach today. All right. We all have understand that a fan motor has a three wire. When you watch, you have one. So this is the common and this is the two capacitor line. So I want you to understand how it goes. All right. Back to the board. Okay. Right now, we are now looking for a way to connect this fan motor to this capacitor. That is the only thing left over right now. Now, the connection goes like this. Let's say that this is the live wire that can bring power here. So, all you have to do is to do what? You will take this wire and connect it to life. You connect it what? To this life. Connect it to life to make sure that it connects to this live wire that has been already on socket. That already been on socket here. Now, after doing that, what remains is what we are now left over with our two wire. These two wires are for what capacitor line. So what are you going to do? What you are going to do is that this other one that is on this color is the capacitor line. You do what? You drag it from this way to what? To this man here. You have connected it in. Check the place it runs from. It runs from this place to what? To here. Now, the leftover here is what? The neutral. The neutral wire here cannot be like that. What you need to do again? You will drive the neutral line to what? A, a neutral line wire. Which you do what? You drag it from this place to this same what? Capacitor terminal. When you watch the whole thing right now, this other life wire, which is this, the speed, this is the speed line. The speed line. The speed line have to do what? The speed line have to be connected to what? A life line, which is the life of this wire. The what? The neutral, the, the fan line have to do what? Have to locate the, the capacitor terminal. That is what? The fan line. I hope you are getting it. The fan line. So the leftover here what is what? The neutral line have to do what? Go to the capacitor neutral terminal. So when you watch the whole thing, which we have explained, you will know that we have done it in a way that everybody can do what? Can understand. When you follow it this way, you are now a person who can connect a fan motor, who can connect a fan motor, and a person who can connect a AC compressor, and a person who can connect what a fan capacitor. You understand? So when you watch all this diagram, which we have explained to our viewers, this is a very simple way for you to do what? To connect an outdoor unit. Because compressor stays in outdoor units, capacitor stays in outdoor units, the fan motor stays what? In outdoor units. 
in our next sessions, what we are going to do is to do what? To practicalize all these connections which we have done for us to do what? To start it up and plug in in Lutri for you to witness how all these things run. So before I leave you today, I want to I want to go through it again for you to understand. I said what? We started with what? How to connect capac capacitor. And which we have shown the diagram here and which we have connected here. Number two say how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. And which we have treated here. This is the AC compressor, one horsepower. And the answer to this said, how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. The answer is what? 30 UF for one horsepower AC. The last thing I will treat here, I will say, number three, how to know how to connect AC compressor, which you and I have treated here. And we said how to connect AC compressor is, you see the terminal of the AC, AC terminal, which, which when you watch on the cover, you see common running starting. And we said common running starting is a way that you use to do what? To connect AC compressor. How does it go? The common have the, the common have to go directly to the live wire of your connection. The running have to go directly to the what capacitor line, which is what neutral. And the starting have to go directly to what the one they call ham. The ham is what a starting line of a compressor. All right. And when you watch to the wire cable, which we have explained so far, we have what we call life neutral arts. And in this life neutral art, you have to do what? You connect your life to what? To, to the common. You connect the neutral to what? To the neutral line of the capacitor line. And what? You make it to do what? To sample the way it will enable you to start. The next other one we have there is what? Farm, farm motor. To so connect your farm motor, which we have showed you today, you need to do what? The farm motor has three wire, and the first wire we see, which is on red color, is what? Speed line. The speed line of a farm motor always do what? Goes to do what? The life wire of the cable, which you are going to plug on the light. And when you watch street three here, we make it to understand that the speed line will do what it will locate the speed wire will do what locate the lifeline which we have done here and the secondly the other line which is what fan line will locate the capacitor line directly to the word capacitor terminal this is what we have done check it there's nothing confusing here it will go directly to this place so the other line here which we call what the the the, the neutral will go direct towards capacitor neutral line and with this, you will summon them here to do what? To plug it on electric. And when you plug it to electric, the capacitor are receiving current, the compressor are receiving current, the fan bottle for the outdoor are receiving what? Current. Fan bottle for outdoor. Fan motor for our door. So, my viewers, please let's not look as if there is something that is confusing you. You can take your time to go through the videos, to go through what we have explained so far. You can drop your question on the comment box. Don't whatever you don't understand, feel free to ask questions. That is why we are always on your way. So, try to find out what we have done. This, um, I want to explain the markers that I have. The reason of using the red marker is for it to represent the life wire. Because every AC unit has what he calls three cord wire. Every AC wire has what he calls three cord wire.
And this red marker represents the life line. And the blue marker represents what? The neutral line. And this other one is head. Because the unit, you can type it on the body of the unit. So my, my viewers, thank you guys so much for being with us so far. And for seeing, for you to remember what we have, we have, we have uh, explained so far. Number one said how to connect capacitor. Number two said how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. The answer is 30 UF. 30 UF for what? One house power AC. The third said how to know how to connect AC compressor. Now, down here we have what? Capacitor. And these are the clips, the different clips. It has three clips, and the other clips there is what fan line. This is ham, and this is what for mutual. And when you watch this other diagram here, what we have here is what a compressor. And when you, you can you can check it up in the the early time we started, we have what they call C R S, which is common running starter for the AC terminal. And to connect it is very simple the way I've taught you. The life wire in your wire have to come towards the lifeline, and the mutual line have to go to the running. And the same time, the mutual have to go to the capacitor. Same time, the ham is for what they started. You have to drag it direct to what to the ham. So when you come to this other side, that will have a fan motor for our door. This is how to connect it. The red wire that you see, which we call the speed line, you take this red wire to the red wire, the, to the red line of the red wire. This is what the fine line, when you trace this fine line so far, the fine line for the capacitor and the, this is the capacitor line, you change it, it goes direct to the fan on the capacitor. When you watch this other side, you also go directly to get a neutral line that will enable this fan to blow. And when you have done all this, what you are going to do next is to plug your wire to the sockets for it to start. So my viewers, this is Engineer Tangot Kelechi Roland, um, and this is the, the TG Roland. We are coming from TG Roland Services, my viewers. Whatever you are doing, please don't fail to subscribe. Don't fail to hit the red button for you to be getting much updates from our company. We are very reliable, we are always on your way, giving you guys what you know you can get from us. Please, go through these videos and see what we have explained so far. You and I did it together, but with this video, with this diagram, you can be able to do what? To start a AC compressor, and you can be able to do what? To know how many UF capacitor you can use in one horsepower AC compressor, and in this same diagram, you can as well to know how to connect an outdoor world fan motor. Thank you, my friends. I love you. Goodbye. We will see some other time in some of our lectures. Yeah, my dears. We are back again to make you guys understand what we have discussed on the previous video. Alright, this is how it goes. Let's go to the board. Before we go to the board, I want you to view here. Let's know what we have here. Come close, come close. Let us see what we have here. This is the AC compressor. This is the capacitor. And this is outdoor fan motor. Now, I want to give you the breakdown from the board that will enable you guys for us to work together to see how this connection of the theory will also help you to the practical aspect. So let's see how it goes. Alright, the number one point here we have is what? How to connect capacitor. Okay? Number two says how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in an in, in, in AC compressor. Now, the three says how to know how to connect AC compressor. Alright, these are the three components that we have today, and we have to discuss it 
and learn about it and start together. All right. The number one place you are going to start, this man is the capacitor that we are talking about, is how to connect the capacitor. All right. How to connect the capacitor is, let's come to this place. This is the diagram here. This is the diagram. This is the capacitor. And when you watch, we have already discussed that before. We have something we call what? Fan line, which is here. Yeah, this is the fan line. When you watch closely here, you see something like fan. Yes, this is fan. And when you watch here, we have what we call neutral line, which is this C. As you are seeing it here, come close. This is the C line. When you watch closely, there is C here. You can see it very well. And when you watch closely here, you see what we call the ham line, the ham terminal, which is here. When you watch very closely, you see the ham line on this place. It's very clear for you to see. All right. So to connect a capacitor simply means you also do want to connect a compressor. All right. Now, let's go directly for you to understand what we are saying. We are, start, we are starting a compressor which is one horsepower. The capacitor you are going to use for a one horsepower compressor is what? 30 UF for one horsepower compressor. Any one horsepower compressor in the whole world normally use what? 30 UF capacitor. All right. Now, when you come down here, you see what we have here. We have compressor, one horsepower AC, which is has that you can see what we write here CRS. In the normal terms of refrigeration, in technical terms, it's called common running starting. What did I say? Common running starting. So, when you watch down here on the that on the board, this is what we call a wire, it's a cable. It's what we call a cable. The cable normally have what we call red wire and blue wire and eggs. We'll come to that in practical. And when you see here, what we have here is what a fan bottle. Watch it here. Go up, go up here. A fan bottle for outdoor. Have you seen it? Fan bottle for outdoor. Now, when you see the fan motor, it has what we call three wires. It has the speed line, and the capacitor line, and the neutral line. When you watch down here, this is the socket of this component of what we are doing. This is the place you put it as a source. Just keep grazing the board and coming. Now, the next thing we are going to do is for us to discuss how to connect this on theoretical aspect of it before we come back to, to the practical. All right. I, I said for the first time, capacitor connection and compressor connection and fan motor connection, we are doing it both together. All right, this is how it goes. Firstly, you are going to start with your wire. When you watch closely right here, this is the lifeline of the wire. You take it from the wire. When you watch here, this is what we call cable, wire cable. You take the life wire directly to the common, to where we call common running starting. This is the common. The life wire will go directly to this place. When you watch, this, the red is being connected by the life wire. When you watch it very well again, this is the neutral line. The neutral goes directly toward the capacitor C. I showed you guys that initially here. This is the C line. You can go close for them to see what we are doing. You see, we will connect the neutral directly towards to the C. At the same time, when you watch this arm, this arm is what they're running. You have to do what? Take your wire directly towards to the capacitor here to make sure that this running has come in contact with the neutral line. It's very clear here. After that, the next one that is being, that we are not talking about is what? The starting. When you choose the black starting wire, it goes directly towards 
the RAM terminal of the world capacitor. So when you watch it closely, the capacitor here and the compressor have got in what power. Now, the one that is being left over here is what? The fan motor. The fan motor, where you watch, you have the red wire, the capacitor wire, and the black wire. This capacitor, this uh, speed line, you take it what? directly to what? To the lifeline. As you can see, the speed line always work with the life wire of the wire. And now when you watch the other line, which is the capacitor, is what? If you trace it, it goes directly to what? The fan capacitor, what? Terminal in the capacitor, which I have said so far. And when you watch that here again, the other one being left out is what? The neutral line, and it goes directly to what? The capacitor terminal in that place. What we are doing is not being confusing. We are making it for you guys to understand what we are doing. All right. So with that, if you plug it to get correct. So what we are going to do in addition right now is what? The connection of the practical. This is the fan motor which we have thought about. It's present here. And this is the capacitor. It's present here. And here is what? The AC compressor. This is the AC compressor which we have drawn on the board. And this is the capacitor or the theoretical aspect of this, practical aspect of this. This is the capacitor. And this other one here is the fan motor. All right. Watch very carefully to see how we are able to connect it and power it for it to start practical. All right. I can come close. Let's start from this. Come close, come close. All right, my viewers, when you watch here now, I want you to get something very clear for you not to be confused in anything. You cannot be in this lesson and after everything, you did not learn anything. No. Now, this is a cable. Watch this very well. This is a cable. When you watch it, it's a cable. This is what we call the Tartan Arms socket plug all right and when you watch closely right here it's this is what we call workshop flex wire and it has one two three now in this you can come close in these three wires when you watch very well this is brown this brown represents what the life and when you watch where well, this is what blue this blue represents what the neutral when you watch this other one this is what Earth and this earth is for the earth wire. Now, back to the wall. I want you to understand something. Come close, come close. Can you say, can get what I'm doing? I want you to understand something. Now, this ground represents this man called what? The live wire. This blue wire represents what? This other man called what? The mutual. And this is the earth, which is this other man here. All right. Back to the connection of what we are going to do today. I want you to watch very carefully and be very, very observant on what we are doing. All right. You can come. Come close, come close. We have to start with the capacitor. We have to start with what we call the capacitor connection firstly. All right. This is the capacitor. This other one here is what? The fan wire. It has what? Yellow, blue, and red. And this one is going directly forward to the light wire. Let's start. Come close, come close, come close. I hope it's the same one being. All right, now, for you to see how everything works, you have to watch very carefully and be very, very observant. This is a three cord wire from the fan motor. And this one that is yellow is going directly to the what? The live wire of the cable that we are using. 
I've connected this one. I'm waiting for something else. Just hold on. All right, come on up to this place. When you watch in this cover, there is something being written here. Yeah, as you can see, this is the compressor terminal. When you watch very well here, there is something here. This is what? C R S. I get me this is the compressor terminal, and it represents for common running starting, which is the same thing that we showed you guys on the board here. Initially, this is something that we show you guys here. Common running starting. Is now coming back to what? To the real practical aspect of it. As you can see very well, there is nothing here you cannot understand. If only you can follow this video accordingly. Okay. This is what? Come on, running, starting. Let's see how to connect it for it to start. Watch very carefully. What you have to do is to do what? You lose this place for you to see directly the clips, directly from the terminal of the compressor. Okay, when you watch carefully here, this man is the common, and when you watch, this is the common here, this is the common, this is the common. Right now, let's go back to our wire that we connected right here. Okay, I brought back this other wire. I've come back to this other one that I've connected the fan line. Get to get the fan. The fan. We have connected the fan motor. This is the wire for the fan motor. When you watch closely right here, the wire is being connected by the wire we are going to go to put for the socket. Watch what happens. This man now that is being on this overload is what? Come on. Now you do what? You add it to this place. You add it to this place, you have automatically connected the common to the live wire. I hope this is very clear. The one that is not being connected right now is the what? The blue and the arts. The only one being connected right now is what? The live wire that represents what? The brand. But this is the live wire of the AC started and this one that being connected here as the life one is what we call common we connected it to the common the common represent the life wire all right on the second thought what we are going to do watch very carefully how everything goes all right now back to this one back to what we say common running starting common running starting all right now this is the running this running have to go towards the neutral. I'm coming for that. Okay, this is the neutral. This is the neutral. That is, let me say, I, I, I the way I said it last time, I said this is what common running. The common is being connected right here, and this is the neutral. And this is where the neutral is coming. Work very carefully. Work very carefully. I'm trying to pee this wire so that the neutral is going to connect to this to this power. Work very well. We are not going to be fast so that you'll be able to understand what we are doing. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. You are not seeing my camera. Okay, this is the neutral of this wire, the inlet wire. This is the neutral. Now, the rolling of the compressor, I'm connecting it to it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm connecting it to it. The rolling is being connected to this, to this power wire. And now, this is the capacitor that we talked about, the 13 UF capacitor, which we have discussed. When you watch very well, we are going to plug this neutral wire on C, which is the C, come here, which is the C, which we discussed here. And when you watch, this is the neutral. Now, 
The new drawer is coming on C. Look at it. I've already plugged it here. When you watch now, it's on C. The neutral wire is on C. When you follow this thing practically, the way we did it from the board and the practical aspect of it, you are going to do the same thing I will do and you are going to get the result. I'm not going to drop it. Okay? The next step I'm going to take right now is the word is starting. Let's go back to the word, the board, come to the board. This is the starting. We have connected, come on, running. And this starting right now, which went to this ham, what go to the word, which go to this ham. Let's let's make it practical. All right. This is the the starting. Let's look for a clip that we are going to use for that connection. Okay. When you watch here right now, this is the ham. What is where we are on the camera? Okay. I'm going to plug this clip here. Is always a clip on the capacitor that's, that is always staying in the load. It doesn't be connected to anyone. All right. This is the wire. I'm going to connect it right now to the starting wire on the compressor. As you can see, I'm doing that by twisting the wire together. As you can see right now, I'm doing that in the same time for you to understand what is going on. I'm trying to tighten it because it's too bogus to the terminal. Hold on, as you can see, I'm trying to push it in. Okay, when you watch closely right now, I've plugged it in. What matters is not the colors of the wire. What matters is for you to learn the diagram from the compressor terminal. This is common, running, starting. They are all connected. They are all connected. Before we on it, we are going to make a refresh of what we have connected. All right, so far so good. We are back to the fan motor this is the fan motor have you seen it this is the fan motor go to the wire the only wire remaining on the fan motor is only two red and blue what happens to them all right this is what will happen to them right now this other neutral okay have to go here it has to go to the capacitor neutral okay I'm trying to plug it for you to see how it goes. I'm trying to give it current. <sighs> All right. When you watch closely, I have already fixed this one right now. The only one remaining is the red. This other red is going to stay on its sec, on the fan line, on the capacitor. Hold on, let me see. Okay, this is where we are. Look at me. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to tap in current to the fan line on the red wire for it to be able to get current. All right, when you watch closely right now, this other man here, which is the fan, is, is without a clip. Right now, I'm going to plug the fan line to it for you to understand what we have taught you guys all right as you can see now this is the fan line here hello come here this is the diagram that we, that we used initially for you to see the fan motor which is this man 
which is this man. And now, watch closely here. This is the speed line, which is the red wire. I have done what? I have taken it to the life. Now, when you watch, the whole connection is being connected, right? So let's talk about it again for you to understand. I said what? Come back to this place. This is common running starting. The common being the yellow wire of this overload have to be have to be connected by the life wire. Watch it. This is the life wire of this cable. The red one is being connected to this. And this is the only place for this white, uh, the, the red wire, which is the life, you have to connect only the fan line here and the compressor line. This is the only one that can receive life. As you can see, it has been done. When you come to the neutral, the running is on this neutral. This is the, the, the power that brought it here. And the, the compressor running is here. And the fan running is here. And when you watch closely here, this is the single for the fan. And when you watch closely here too, this is for the what? The, the, the hump of the compressor, which is the starter. All right? When you watch closely right now, what is remaining is for us to do what? To put it on a socket. All right, this is where we are now. This is the socket, the plug of the, the connection we have done there. We are now taking it to a socket. The socket is off, you plug it. As you plug it, you are to do what to on it. I come this way. Yes, yes, yes. Now, my peers, I want you to understand what we have done. We have done the connections, and for you to know you got what you did, watch here, this is what we call the high side of an AC compressor. What I'm doing, I'm trying to pump the compressor to see if we got the connection. I want you to observe from yourself. As you can see, this place you see is sucking. This is the suction of the compressor. I want you to understand what we are doing. When you watch here, the capacitor is here. When you watch here, the fan is turning. Look at it, it's turning. You understand? It's turning very well. I like it to go for the wife for them to understand what they have done. We are, we are together in this lesson. And I want every one of you who have spent your time to watch, who have spent your time to follow up, to see the practical aspect of what we have done on the theoretical aspect. This one is what is on, as you can see, is distorting. If it was on the unit, the blower, the blade will start pouring. But we have done what we're supposed to do. The other things remaining on the unit is just the what everyone has to do. What is very well, the fan is turning on itself. It's rotating on itself. When you watch, what is powering them is only this 30, 30 UF capacitor that we talked about there. That is the only thing powering the two objects that we have here. When you come back to this place again, you see that this is the total body of the compressor. You can hear the sound of the compressor. Watch it very well. As you can see for yourself, it's pumping. This is the way. Okay, let me let me just break something down. This is a compressor. Whenever you connect. Whenever you connect your compressors, for you to know if the compressor is pumping, you have to pump from this place. When you hold it, you can check the pressure of the compressor. You can hear it. 
I'm holding it, you hold it for a while, and you leave it. You hold it again. It's pumping. So when you come to this other side, this other side is sucking. It will suck my hand in. You see it? He sucks in my hand. As you can see, my hand is being inside. He's sucking it in. This is the suction. When it comes to AC compressor, and this place you see is called accumulator. This is the accumulator of a compressor. He's sucking in. And this place, as I said earlier, is the pumping aspect of the compressor. This is the pumping. This is the place that normally push the heat to the condenser. And before you know, it will start producing cooling. When it works directly again on the board, you can understand the, the, the theoretical aspect of the board, what we have taught today so far. Go up. Let me see something here. I said, yeah, as you can see the board, what you have there is what? How to connect capacitor, number one. Number two says how to know how many UF capacitor you can use in AC compressor. Now the answer is what? 30 UF for one horsepower. The number three says, how to how to know how to connect AC compressor, which we have done here today, which we have done from the theoretical aspect towards the practical aspect, and this is the this is the diagram for the compressor that has common running starting. As you can see on the board, it is there. On the other side is what we call the capacitor, which is this, that has a 3 pin, 1, 2, 3, that has what? Fan. From the fan, it has what? Cam, which is the starting of the compressor. From this place, you see what it has? The C. And when you watch closely right there, this is the wire which we use in connecting it on the board. The other hand here, what we have here is what? We have the fan moto for art core and this is the art core fan moto and it is running as you can see it's turning it's working because the connections which you and i did was very 100 percent okay and this is the capacitor we have used the 30 uf capacitor which we have used in connecting the both the fan and the compressor together as you can see here, the sound of the compressor is still steaming because the connection is okay. This place is the place you are going to hold. Whenever you, you finish connecting your compressor, you have to hold it to check the pumping. And this compressor you are seeing here is one horsepower compressor. It's not any one, this is one horsepower. So my friends and my viewers, I will urge you to watch this video very carefully and I will always beg you to listen very carefully for you to understand what we have done together. With this, anybody who goes through this lesson today can be able to do what? To connect a capacitor and to connect what a fan at a, an adult fan motor with a capacitor. So please, my friend, our aim of doing this is to do what to educate the world, to educate whoever that is willing to learn in refrigeration aspect. We'll be always coming to your way, teaching you guys on how to do what to repair your air conditioner. Anyone who want to partake on online training. Don't fail to contact and comment or call our phone numbers. We are very reliable and we can give you whatever you want in your area. You can learn from wherever you are. 
Okay, my viewers, keep observing what we have done together. You can still go back to the board for them to see the diagram in full shape. Wow, this is this is wow because I'm happy that a lot of people are going to learn from this. Don't fail to contact TG Roland Services. I don't really know. We are going to dismantle it. When dismantle it, you can still see the way we did it and we'll couple it back. The fan is still rotating. I'm not too fast to cut the video because there are some persons who require us to understand it too well. And this is still the capacitor. When you watch, it's a three cord capacitor. Three cord capacitor. When you watch here, this is the compressor. What you are seeing here is what we call overload. That is the overload that we are talking about to enable this compressor to start. All right, my viewers. As you can see, I want to put, put it off. Let me go directly to the socket and off it. Okay, let's go directly to the, go to the socket. All right, here is where we are. We are back on the socket. We are back on the socket. The sound you are hearing, you are going to hear it no more. This is the off. As you can see, as you are not opening it, you have to unplug it. You are welcome to TG Roland Services, your number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. We offer nationwide services in installation and repairs of all kinds of air conditioners. We also repair refrigerators and sell all kinds of refrigeration spare parts. At TG Roland Services, we offer mentorship and training programs. Visit our head office today at number 104 Afam Road, Oyibo River State, or our branch office at number 3 Dani P Street off Elekaya Rumu Kalabo, Port Harcourt River State. You could call our phones on 0806-270-4556 or 0806-544-5143. Reach us on WhatsApp 0806-544-5143. You could as well reach us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google Business at TG Roland Services. Our website www.tgrolandservices.com.ng TG Roland Services. Your Number one stop for all your air conditioner and refrigeration challenges. JJ Roland Services. We are the best in the game. We are the best. Oh, yeah, this is TG Roland. JJ Roland Services. We are the best.